Welcome to the Healthy Lifestyle Show podcast. Our podcast is all about eating healthy, being active, and living a healthy lifestyle. We believe living healthy should be easy. That's why we have a free ebook at healthylifestyleformula.com, which can help you start your healthy lifestyle journey in easy to follow steps. Let's jump into this week's podcast topic and welcome our guest. Well, welcome back, Jay. It's good to see you again. Yeah, no, it's, I think uh, we're doing this now in the new uh, way where we are doing it after two weeks. Am I right? Yes, bi-weekly. So it's bi-weekly now. Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's good to be back. Yeah. I was happy even coming back every week, but uh, I think this is much better because it gives us more time to do other things. Yes. Yeah, very awesome. Helpful. So I think during the last uh, episode, we talked about summarizing everything around thyroid. Am I right? Yes, we had. So, and we have done quite an extensive work when it comes to educating everybody about thyroid. Yes, I believe we have. Everything about thyroid foods, what foods are good for thyroid health and all, all that. Yep. Okay. So now what I was thinking, mm-hmm. what if we start a series on mushrooms? Sounds good. So the way I was planning to do this mm-hmm. was more, I would take, there are millions of mushrooms, first of all. So, yeah. and not many people know about that. There's hardly any research done for a large number of variety. Yeah. Only few are popular Mm -hmm. where I would say because of multiple reasons. Number one, it's the the ancient civilization like Eastern countries have been using for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. And that's why now when it's coming to West, Mm -hmm. now people are saying, oh, I know about that because there's so much work already done by that Eastern civilization. Yeah. But what's lacking is that they were taking it, they were taking those mushrooms because they were happy. Yeah. For whatever like traditional Chinese medicine or traditional Ayurveda or like so many other, you know, therapies are there in that yeah. in that world. Mm-hmm. But the regular scientific research is yeah. still lacking because it never came in the do- in those days. Yeah. It never came to the west. Yeah. Now it's coming. So now more and more people are jumping yeah. and trying to establish the connection that, oh, thousand years these people have been using for this purpose. Is it really true? Yeah. But in their culture, nobody cares whether you can establish or not because they are benefiting. Yeah. So uh, I think I can keep talking about mushrooms forever. But what I want to do now is for the purpose of this uh, episode, I wanted to focus yep. only on one. Okay. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about reishi mushroom. So I would keep taking one mushroom and it's not possible to talk about every yeah. like major mushroom. So what I would do, I'll touch base maybe, I don't know, half a dozen, maybe 10, 6, 10, 12, I don't know. I've not, yeah. I haven't thought about it. Okay. So we'll see whatever we can as part of this um, series. Okay. So today talking about reishi mushroom. Mm-hmm. Now reishi mushroom, the botanical name, everybody wants to know, hey, you know, I mean like specifically those guys who are more knowledgeable about mushrooms, they say, hey, yeah. who's, which botanical uh, mushroom we are talking about. So yeah. the botanical name is... Genoderma lucidum. I don't know. Nobody cares. <laughs> I don't care. Who cares? Yeah. What I care about is reishi mushroom. And yeah. the other name I care about is more like, what are the interesting facts? Yeah. What Chinese call it by name? What's the name in Japan? What's the name in like Korea? Yeah. I mean, those are the interesting things for me. Mm-hmm. So I got some names over here just to give you some interesting facts. Okay. Uh, Chinese name is Lingzi. And where the basically the word link means miraculous or divine. And the word Z means the plant of longevity. Hmm. So that's why in their culture yeah. and nowadays everywhere, it's also known as the mushroom of immortality. immortality. Hmm. Wow. Um, and... Uh, I think I did mention, but let me mention this again. This is very interesting fact. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
this is called a medicinal mushroom in the Chinese traditional Chinese therapies. Okay. And this has been used for more than 2000 years. Wow. The first time it was used and it was like people wrote it down yeah. was they have different different dynasties. Yeah. In China. Mm -hmm. So it was 2000 years back the Han H A N Han Han whatever yeah. it is. The Han dynasty. Wow. And uh, this grows on this is almost like most of the mushrooms are like parasite. Yeah. It grows on something. Yeah. And it extracts and takes all that, you know, juices from wherever it's growing. Yeah. That's why it's called also a parasite. Yeah. Now I think I would be doing more about the mushrooms as a whole, a separate uh, kind of episode, maybe at the end or something like that. Yeah. But mushrooms are neither the plant nor animals. Oh. Okay. So it's, it's a, I mean, there's a documentary series yep. about the kingdom of fungi. That's why it's another name is fungi. Yeah. And uh, we'll leave it for some other time. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I want to focus on reishi mushroom today. Yeah. Uh, another thing is like it uh, grows on the... Uh, nowadays it's commercially grown. Yeah. Because, hey, everybody wants to take uh, reishi mushroom nowadays. Like in many other mushrooms, reishi mushroom is extremely popular. Yeah. People eat it every day in the form of mm -hmm. capsule or powder or people take tea or like whatever. Yeah. Uh, tea is not that common for reishi, but people still take it. Some people who are diehard fans of mushrooms. Yeah. Some like it as a soup. Yeah. Now, there's a reason why this is one of the best mushrooms you can think of. Okay. Uh, here is some scientific background for that. All right. It does have some of those bioactive molecules, which are called, these are difficult names, just so you know. Uh, terpenoids, steroids, phenols, nucle nucleotides, and there are many derivatives like glycoproteins, polysaccharides, saccharides, and all that. Yeah. The, but what's important here to know is that mushroom as a whole yeah. is very low on total fat content. Hmm. That's number one. Number right. two is is very, very high on the proportion of polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are okay. good for our body, yep. which is what we need. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I always suggest when people say, how should I take it? I say, whatever way you want to take it, but take it. Yeah. Why do I say that? You can take it in the form of a capsule. Like yeah. you'll never come to know which mushroom, what mushroom you're taking. You don't have to even taste it. But if you love taste, which mm -hmm. I don't, because reishi mushroom has a bitter taste. Okay. So I can't handle that. Yeah. But some diehard fans, as I said earlier, they take it. Yeah. They love tea. So in order yeah. to remove the bitter taste of that, yeah. they put lemon, spices, yeah. honey. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah, you can do all of that. Yeah. Um, or otherwise, just make a soup if you want to make a soup. There's yeah. so many recipes. Google it. You know, I'm not going. I'm not a good cook. Yeah. So I'm not going to talk about recipes here. Yeah, I actually have a really good recipe for, for mushroom soup. Okay, maybe one day we should put it over there on our blog or somewhere. Maybe sure. we should talk about that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, but what I always say is like there's lots of research being done nowadays. And I have, I mean, like, I think we would put it, I'm going to write a book on some of this and give it for free. Okay. So I'll put some, you know, uh, sources for those kind of things, because, you know, we have a policy not to make any kind of claims. Yeah. No matter what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I cannot say this can cure this or do this or do that. What I, what I can only, only say, this has been used for centuries by those people who are looking for good health yeah uh, people use it for prevention purpose like you know if they are prone to some kind of cancer or some of those issues yeah they are taking it mm -hmm. i don't know if uh, until there is an authoritative source claiming that yeah it's people have seen the direct connection but how direct it is i don't know 
until something is published. So I'm not going to call anything on that. What I'm going to suggest to our listeners, viewers, readers, everybody yep. is that this is the one of the best solutions for immune system. Okay. And that's the reason why many people with cancer and all that take it. Yeah. Because they want to build their immune system yep. so that uh, they can fight with whatever challenges they have. Yeah. Uh, by the way, it is used as an alternative therapy okay. uh, in China, just so you know. But that's not we talk about. Yeah. Okay? okay. What I want to say is antioxidant. In terms of antioxidants, this is one of the best solutions you can think of. Mm -hmm. So if you love taking antioxidants, which we all should, yeah. more and more we should take. Yeah. Uh, hey, I love mushrooms. Yeah. And I'm a kind of... When I was talking about Die Hard fan, yeah. I'm not there, <laughs> but you're close. In, I'm close. Yeah, you're Die Hard adjacent. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and that's why, you know, uh, I want to talk about our sponsor today. Okay. Our sponsor for this whole series now on the mushroom is going to be Activa Naturals. Yeah. And uh, Activa Naturals has numerous mushroom products. Yes. And uh, this one they have. In the purest possible form. Mm -hmm. No fillers, no any kind of additives because most of the that's the biggest challenge we have in the supplement industry. Yeah. They have you know all the variety of fillers, chemicals being added, yeah. additives being added. At least Activa Natural Naturals never do that. Yeah. So if you hey guys want to check it out, go ahead, check it out. Mm -hmm. Their website is activanaturalsstore.com. Okay. Okay, uh, back to our podcast. Yes. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, maybe we'll put some kind of, because they've offered us some deal and all that. So we'll put that deal on our blog. Okay. And on our podcast. Yep. So people will go and go ahead and check it out. And, you know, hey, you know, it's at the end. We want everybody to benefit from whatever we are doing. Everything is here for educational purpose only. Yeah. Go ahead, check it out. And if you find something meaningful, something good for you, mm -hmm. why not? Yeah. Why not benefit from that? Save money. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Coming back. Yes. Uh, I was talking about the like variety of ways people take it. Yeah. And variety of ways people are now cultivating it. Like people nowadays doing in their homes also. Yeah. The way to do that is like you can use um, some kind of a log, the yeah. wooden log, mm -hmm. or you can use that wooden powder. What do you call that? Um, oh, the name escapes me right now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm wondering if I <laughs> have chips, any maybe. chips or, you know, you, you could have. I'm just wondering if I had written down anywhere. There's a specific name for that. Um, yeah, sawdust. Oh, there nice. you go. <laughs> <laughs> wood chips, sawdust, hardwood logs. Yeah. That's where it's being cultivated nowadays. Yeah. Because there's good demand. The demand is growing every month, every year, I yeah. would say. More and more people are realizing the benefits of reishi mushroom. Mm -hmm. So in order to meet that demand, it's extremely hard to go to jungles and collect. That's kind of, yeah. that's not a feasible solution. No, not really. And then you have to purify, you have to do all, all of that. So yeah. when you grow this in a controlled environment, mm -hmm. you can make sure it's free from toxins, you're free from everything else. Yeah. And you, you get the best possible uh, quality. And that's what Activa Naturals do. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm happy that, you know, we got the Activa Naturals as our standard now um, sponsor yeah. for our podcast. So uh, I think... Uh, this is a good way to kick it off today, our new series. Yep. And maybe next one I would be talking about. What should I talk about? Maybe I should talk about Chaga Mushroom. Okay. That so, good. yeah, next one I would be sharing more about the benefits of Chaga Mushroom and all of that. Yep. And uh, if possible, if we can get one bottle from maybe, you know, uh, from a sister company. Yeah. Then maybe we should... Keep that bottle just to show people, you know, everything about, you know, what we're talking about. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. 
Well, I think with that, I would say thank you. All right. Well, thank you, and uh, thanks for coming in today. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you again next time. If you want to start your healthy lifestyle journey, don't forget to get your free ebook at healthylifestyleformula.com to start your healthy lifestyle journey in easy to follow steps. This podcast was brought to you by activeandnaturalstore.com. Thank you.